Good morning, besties. So, I'm currently in the parking lot of my job right now. I thought I would take y'all not along with me for the day at work just because I can't show you um, a lot of stuff at work. So, I work in the healthcare system. And your girl's not trying to get a HIPAA violation. That's a federal offense. I can't do fed time. I might be able to do state, but I can't do fed time. So yeah, just a little bit here or there. I never take y'all outside the house. <laughs> um, and that's partially because when I'm out and about, I be, be in my own little world, in my own little zone, doing stuff that I don't want on the internet. But I'm going to make a conscious effort to take y'all outside of the house because I do leave my house um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and head into work probably just show you my desk maybe some of the people I conversate with I don't know if I will yet because that's a little bit a little much but yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that I feel cute today y'all for my braids my homegirls that wear braids now, if you're anything like me and you get the long braids or the chunky braids, box braids, not so much the knotless because the knotless don't really do this, but the box braids, they will pull, especially the crown of your head. Girl, and these has been in way too long, but I really don't feel like dealing with my hair. Plus, I wanted to get it done as close to summer because summer's going to be so late. I had to get it close, um, as close as I could to... The beginning of summer because I want my hair to be fresh so I'll be taking a lot of pictures and going places and traveling so yeah um so girl they've been holding on for dear life but I have taken some of them out because I need my edges but I just put lotion on girl this heat anyway um headbands are your friend because if you take them out like this braid is out but brush the baby hairs or brush your edges girl looks like you're good so if you ever see me with braids and you see april's rocking the headband every day i done took down some of my braids mind your business but yeah so let's go ahead and head up to work i think i'm supposed to be looking here y'all know i'm talking to you at the gas station I'm at sam's club y'all look at my hair the last time y'all saw me i think i was wearing my braids and i took my braids down washed my hair deep conditioned it been wearing it down all week i had to wash it again this morning because y'all it's hot but it's super soft looking great so i just thought i'd let it fly but we're gonna run some errands before the lady that does my hair is gonna come over actually to my house to braid my hair like I said, we're getting gas. I have to get a folding chair for my mama's house because we can't do the hair on my couch. Like it's spreading the couch. We can't do that. We can't do that. And I don't have my dining room set yet. So I'm gonna get a folding chair for my mama's house. <laughs> Not much else. I'm getting my nails and my feet done. Y'all, my feet look terrible. Okay, now when they said bedrock, they was talking about my feet. Cause look like I've been like running on concrete, okay? So we definitely got to get the feet done. I think I'm going to have to start getting them every three weeks to the every month. Because your girl, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, my feet can't be looking crazy. In the summertime too, I have to wear my flip-flops and my cute little sandals. You know, my platform. I can't, can't have crusty feet. So we're definitely going to get that done. We're getting our nails done because my hands have been naked. And I hate how my hands look without nails. So we're definitely going to get that. I don't know why you use that low. We're going to get that done today. Yeah, it's just a me glam day. So we are back home, y'all. Excuse me, I'm eating ice. No, it's bad for my teeth, but I'm gonna need it when I'm used to it, so. Anyway, we're back home. The sound club line, y'all, it was moving. Now, normally it takes about, I wanna say 10, sometimes 15 minutes, which is actually better than Costco. Sad fact, but it was really moving today, so I was literally in line for like five minutes. Talked to the like clerk lady went about my business, went to my mama's house, even went to Target to do my pickup. So I was gonna do it after I got my nails done, but I had time, so I was like, might as well. Usually Sam's Club takes a little longer as well as the Target pickup. That usually takes about 10 minutes, but 
Everybody moving today, girl. I guess it's the heat. But anyway, I'll show you a little bit of stuff I can do. First of all, I just had a whole photo shoot for my nails. Look at my nails the milky white with the cloudy white with the gold flakes stop playing with me i love this so i finally found my nail shop and my nail lady because yeah i'm not gonna be able to do nothing but because they're so long but anyway there's two cute yeah. we never said exclusive I just promised you my time and I'm giving it to you, babe. So I could be an accuser. Your emotions running wild. Best if you days. don't come down. So we have a lot to do today. It is the next day. I am wearing my melanin shirt, which I love. But y'all, anyway, we have a lot to do. So we are at the UPS store because so I have to take back, um, send back a package. We have to go to CVS to get a gift bag and tissue paper for my mommy. And I only go to CVS or the Dollar Tree for gift bags and tissue paper because it's 99 cents. But I'm not dealing dollar, doing Dollar Tree because it's just farther from my house. So yeah, we have to do that. Then I have two pickup orders, one for Ralph's and then one for Target, which is right here by the UPS store. Then we're going to go to Trader Joe's. I am that extra person that will shop two to three different stores because they have what I want. I want to thank Java Coffee for partnering with me for this portion of the video. As y'all know, I am a coffee freak, so I was super excited when they reached out and said they wanted to work with me. Java Coffee is a concentrate that you can have either hot or cold, which I love. It's only 5 calories, 60 cents per cup, which is a $20 total for the bottle. You cannot beat that price, y'all. Um, again, you can have it either hot or cold. This morning I had it with some ice, a little bit of creamer, and a little bit of sweetener and I was good to go. This is super convenient for those of us that work full time or have a lot of errands to run when you don't have time to just brew a cup of coffee. They were super nice to us and gave us the YouTube besties a 20% discount code that is in the description box. Just click the link. Thank you so much Java Coffee for working with your girl. Can we talk about how Target does no no longer has the 99 cents bags? Like I feel like I jinxed myself because they just had it for my daddy's birthday, which was like a month and a half ago. And why are my glasses crooked? Anyway, they had it a month a month and a half ago for my daddy's excuse me birthday, and like now they're just not existing. And I even asked the clerk, and they were like, "Oh yeah, the last batch we got was like the last batch. Why? Why?" why but anyway so i went to target uh, i took back my package the ups store picked up my grocery pickup at target went inside trader joe's super quick super quick so i didn't have to buy a lot um i didn't want to buy a lot because i can shop in trader joe's and did my grocery pick up at ralph's aka kroger did i go get gas i might go do that tonight before i take my mom out for her birthday so right now we are going to put away the groceries. Then I'm going to wipe down the countertops. Before I left, I put in a load for the dishwasher. I'm going to wash a load of clothes while all this is happening. We multi-functional, okay? We multitask over here. I have this um, laundry I have to pick up. I have a load of whites that I have to fold. I said pick up, but I meant fold and hang up. And yeah, so we're just going to get this going. This always makes me nervous like it's a stain, but it's the pillow. It freaks me out. Anyway, go ahead and put away the groceries. This is the unesthetic grocery haul. I put away the stuff from Target. That was just like toiletry items, which was like tissue. I got some paper plates and forks for like work. Nothing serious. But um, I'm trying to slowly build up my spice rack, our spices, and I'm going to get an actual spice rack with the little matching spice dispensers and everything. But anyway, I have cumin, basil, and this is probably oregano. Yep. So I got those three. I'm just going to, every time I shop, I'm going to try to pick up spices until I find a cheaper, more affordable way to do so and buy in bulk. This will do. I need some more minced garlic. I got one of these. If you've had this Home Chef, they sell them now at Kroger. So I'm going to split this in half and pair it with some... Is there rice already in there? Girl, there's rice already in there. 
so i'll probably split this up um, and take this for lunch for two different days so i thought that would be good i got some ground beef ground beef i'm gonna make some picadillo tonight not tonight probably tomorrow i got an onion because y'all know everything i cook has bell peppers and onions hello i didn't want green this week so i got um, an orange one they're kind of on the sweeter side i needed some grocery bags this will be my last time not getting grocery bags water and paper towels from sam's club or costco because i just i take out my trash every day just because i hate trash in my house like i used to live somewhere where the person wouldn't take out trash every day and it just bothered me so yeah i take out the trash every day so i got the tall kitchen ones they're not like the super big bags but i take out my trash every day so got some of those got some crushed tomatoes from our four the picadillo got some rice again last time i'm getting this type of rice i'm getting the rice cooker i'm tired of it got that i got these y'all these are so good uh bagel chips everything bagel i have a bag that i haven't even finished yet but these are so good even if you have them plain sometimes i do spread some cream trees on it but even plain these are bomb i've just like replaced chips with bagel chips for now got some green beans corn some corn yep and then i got these which are the omelet bites they're super little so i usually like heat up three and i'm gonna pair it with hash brown this will be my lunch every morning lunch breakfast every morning getting the breakfast bowls a little bit of a break because i would get a little tired of them but yeah this is everything i got from ralph's aka kroger So this is all I got from Trader Joe's. I got six eggs, half a carton. I love when people sell half a carton. I got some tomato paste. I used to like the ones they had like in a little tube, but they no longer sell it. Two avocados. Um, these are my second favorite olives. I like they're in a little pouch, but I need these for the picadillo. My favorite mini cilantro wong tongs. And I wanted to try these out. I've never seen them before. I've seen the chicken and pork ones, but I've never seen the shrimp. So I'm gonna try these pot stickers. I got some mint for my purse just to have breath. Don't wanna be on hum. Um, some cilantro and my hash browns, but that's my little trade. Instead of just complaining, you could try to treat me right, but you gotta get off your head. Breathe in, breathe out, let me speak now. What happened was a <laughs> <laughs> Hey besties, we are back home, just closing up these blinds. So my mom loved the restaurant, I took her to, um, it's like Japanese barbecue, where you like grill the meat and everything having glasses and braids like fresh braids is so crucial because the braids push my glasses up and those be looking all jacksonous but anyway um she enjoyed herself that's the most i've ever seen my mom eat my mom is such like she's the type of person that when you go out to dinner with she'll order a bunch of cocktails and a bunch of like starters and she just knits and picks and stuff and she'll take it all home but your girl actually ate today so i'm super happy i mean she liked it my daddy came, it was just a good time. He ate, we had s'mores, it was just fun. It was nice to see her have a good time, which was the goal. I don't know why I'm out of breath. That's how you could tell you out of shape, girl, when you just go up the stairs and you just like. <sighs> but I'm back home. My bed, let me show y'all what my bed is looking like. Y'all, don't look at my bra, don't look at my bra. Anyway. This has to be cleaned up. Before I go to sleep, I have papers over there. Yeah, it's just a mess. This has to be cleaned up before I go to bed, but you know how like when you're getting dressed? And first of all, I don't even know when I signed up for a magazine subscription because who reads magazines anymore? But yeah, that I need to get a dresser because look at my clothes. It's crucial. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here. I know that tomorrow me and my best friend and my cousin are going to block on the back on the block, back on the black block, something like that, child. It's a block party. 
in downtown Los Angeles, McGrithen, it's by McGrithen Park. <sighs> so I don't know if I'm gonna end it here. I might take y'all along. I might make a whole separate vlog about that. I have not decided yet. Either way, I'll end the vlog when I wake up tomorrow because today I just, well tonight, I'm just gonna clean off my bed, fold the laundry that I did not get to. I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed. Anyway, y'all, to tomorrow, bye. No bullshit, no lie. I swear I'll try to give you my everything.